So are you putting a band-aid on the issues in your relationship? Do you really hear what your partner is saying or do you hear what you want to hear? Okay, we're going to get into some tips on communication from a couples therapist. Stay tuned. So I'm Denise Brady. I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. And I see a lot of couples. And the main thing I see in the way of relationships is communication. And so today we're gonna go over my five tips on how to improve the communication in your relationship because you probably hearing what you wanna hear, not really hearing what your partner is saying. So let's get into it. So number one, do you hear what your partner is saying or do you hear what you want to hear? Okay. How about instead of talking to your partner, you talk where you are hearing what they are saying. I think sometimes we want to get our point across so much that we don't often hear what they are saying, what they are needing. Sometimes we take bits and pieces and we put together a story in our own head and that really separates us from really properly communicating. It makes it so that we already know what to expect. We already know what they, what they about to say. We already create this story in our heads that there is no coming back for them. Okay. And so that breaks down the communication right there. So I want you to work on really going into a conversation with your partner and hearing what it is that they need from you and stop already going into it what you think they gonna say i already know she gonna say this i already know he gonna react like this how about let's go into it with an open mind okay so that was number one number two asking them what do they need from you when is the last time you asked your partner what is it you need from me as a partner even when you're communicating through difficult things um, are they venting or talking about issues that they're going on at work and their personal life and their business? Instead of being quick to fix it, to have all the answers, how about you ask your partner, what is it you need from me in this conversation? Is it that you need me to listen? Is it that you need me to fix? Is it you just want to vent? Ask before assuming. Okay, that's my bonus assumptions will get you caught up caught up in a mess okay a mess you can't get yourself out of oftentimes we assume things about our partners about their communication styles that the assuming gets us in trouble even in friendships relationships assumptions about things will always get you in trouble because assumptions are made off of not knowing the facts okay never assume so when you're going into a conversation with your partner, are they like on the phone, you know, my boss Mary is tripping again. And you're listening and are you gonna go into, well, how can I fix it? Or are you gonna go into it, what is it you need from me? So work on that. Ask your significant other, your partner, what is it that you need from me in this conversation? So I know how to show up as my best self as a partner, okay? Ask some of these questions, okay? Now, number three, do you create space for your partner to show up for you? Sometimes we are so caught up in panic, a tailspin, and a situation that we don't allow our partners to show up for us. They're staying there, they're trying to be there for us, but our minds are in such a state of panic mode, trying to figure out what the next step is, how am I gonna figure this out, that you have someone who's willing to show up for you, who's willing to be everything you need, but because possibly you are so hyper independent that you are not used to having people show up for you. You're used to having to figure out things by yourself. So you don't allow your partner to really show up. Maybe you've been functioning your whole life where people have hurt you, people you love. Maybe you trusted people and then in the end they use that against you. Maybe you were vulnerable and they use that in past relationships to uh, make you feel little, make you feel like you were less than. And because of that, now you have this person who is healthy, who is whole, who is willing to love you unconditionally. You're not letting them in. Okay. Learn that 
you don't have to be the same person you were in that past relationship that you are now in today. Don't let the stuff from in the past cripple, hurt you, self-sabotage from a healthy relationship, okay? So that was my number three, okay? Number four, and I see this so often, okay? Let me know if this is you. You let your emotions get the best of you. Mm -hmm. You're so caught up in the heat of the moment, the heat of the argument, you slip and say something you can't come back from, okay? Learn to not have your emotions control the dynamics of the conversation, of the communication. Recognize, okay, I'm up here. I know if I get up here, I ain't coming back. Now you're gonna end up in trouble because you're gonna end up slipping up and saying something that you regret. You might start throwing some low blows. When they go low, you gonna go lower, okay? Because now you see, oh, you, you bringing up stuff that I'm sensitive about? I got you, I see you. And then you gonna throw a blow and it's gonna be a volcano. And then you're gonna realize right after you say it, like, oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Gina, I didn't, I didn't act up and I can't come back from this. So recognize, are your emotions getting the best of you when you are communicating, when you're having disagreements? Because you can't come back from that, okay? And that leads me to my last point of recognizing that you can take a break from conversations. It's okay to take a break. You don't have to try and unravel everything that you guys are having a disagreement about in that conversation. Recognize like, hey, I feel like I'm up here. I really don't wanna get up to here. So do you mind if we take a break from this conversation? But recognize, okay, I wanna take a break, but give a date and a time of when you're gonna come back and finish this conversation. So, it's evening time, I'm tired, we're having an argument. I'm too tired to continue this conversation. Do you mind if we come back to this in an hour? Do you mind if we come back to this later this evening? Communicate and really set a time because oftentimes people say that they're gonna come back and continue these conversations and they never do. And that's where the band-aid comes in because you both might be passive. One person might be dominant. One person might be passive. And it's like, okay, well, she's not bringing it up. I guess she over it, so I'm not gonna bring it up. I already know last time I didn't effed up, so I'm just gonna move along if she don't bring it up. But really, that problem that's probably like this big right now, in three months, it's gonna be bigger. It's gonna it could become bigger than your relationship. And because y'all didn't really finalize and figure out how to not let this consume us, we put a bandaid on it. Now it's months later, weeks later, and she bringing up, you remember the last time, the last time I asked you to wash them dishes and we said we was gonna come back and figure out how to do a chore system or a responsibility system in our relationship. We never came back to it. I felt like you really don't care Every single time, another thing, bonus, universal statements. You never, you always, those statements will get you caught up, okay? How often in your relationship do you find yourself using universal statements? You often, always, never, I'm always taking care of the bills. I'm always taking care of the kids. You never show up for me. Is that you? Is it? Is it you? Okay. So that was my bonus. But going back to taking a break, it's okay to take a break and come back to a conversation. You don't have to spend hours and hours trying to navigate a difficult, challenging thing in your relationship. Just make sure if you take a break, you let them know, I do want to come back and talk about this. Hold each other accountable. Now we said Sunday night, we was gonna have our check-in once the kids go to sleep and we were gonna revisit that conversation we were having on Friday. It's Sunday 
and right now it's two o'clock so I want you to know at five o'clock be ready because we said we was gonna sit down and talk and we're gonna hold each other accountable and have this conversation so these are my tips as a therapist on how to communicate better in your relationship I see a lot of clients I get a lot of calls about couples and it does work these things do work but you have to be willing to put in the work and see past yourself okay see that my relationship is bigger than just me i want to be with this person so i have to step out of my comfort zone and make some changes okay let me know if this video spoke to you what tips are you going to take from this video and implement in your own relationship Thank you for sticking with me through this video. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know what you liked and I'll see you next time.